Hi everyone, Chemist here. And today what we're going to do is something a little different. Um, if you guys have been following my Pokemon ROM hack walkthrough series, I keep throwing around the phrase uh, physical special split quite a bit. And um, these games are old, so most of my viewers either fall into to two categories. Either you, um, you know about it because you're, you're watching a ROM hack series and that means you know quite a bit about Pokemon, or um, you used to know about it, and since this game is older, um, it, the definition has kind of uh, slipped your memory. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through and explain what the physical special split was, and uh, I'm going to do that by taking a look through the um, vanilla Pokemon Crystals source code versus the code of my ROM hack. So that way you guys can get a better idea of that as well. So in order for us to look through the normal uh, Pokemon Crystal code, uh, we, we need it to be on my computer. And right now, I only have my ROM hack uh, files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone the um, normal Pokemon Crystal ROM um, GitHub files into my... My, my, you know, just the home of my computer. So the way we do this is uh, I'm going to use the terminal, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Pokemon Crystal Disassembly's uh, GitHub page. So I'm just going to type in Poke Crystal Disassembly into Google, and you just want to go to the Pret Poke Crystal Disassembly Pokemon Crystal GitHub page. Um, this is okay, for those of you who don't know who GitHub is. It's just a way for you to to work on coding projects and track your changes of your work through um, basically save states that are called commits. Um, so what I'm going to do is I need I need all the files from this because this is the all the files from the vanilla game like a, a non-edited 1.0 Pokemon Crystal game. So I'm going to clone this to my computer. So what I do is I just copy and paste that uh, that link right there to this to this fork, and I'm going to use the command git clone, and then that that um, directory. So that will start initializing everything. Uh, you can see before it even finishes, there's already a, a, a folder called Poke Crystal now that wasn't there before, and uh, and we're done. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this this terminal window. And now you can see all the files for the for the game that compile into the ROM are here now. So now that we're here, um, let's take a look at at what the physical special split is. Um, in Gen One and Gen Two, moves weren't assigned the the constant of physical or special. It was actually whole typings. So, for example. The type fire, the entire move set of fire moves were all considered special attacks. So, if you play newer games now, which is very, very likely that you do if you're watching this video, you know that there are physical fire moves. Like, if we're just, if we're just gonna stick with older generations like Gen 2, you know that Flame Wheel is a physical fire move, but that wasn't the case in Gems 1 and 2 because the entire typing of fire was special. So, let's take a look into here. Okay, um, there's an easy way to find this real quick. Uh, we can go to it, it. You know, whether a move is or a typing is physical or special is something that is constant throughout the whole game. So we know it's going to be stored within the constants folder of the of the of the game. And we're going to go to type constants real quick. So here we have the the source code, and you can see there is a a category for physical, right? And there is a category for um, special right here. So we have special and physical. So you can see one really weird thing is the ghost type is physical in Gens 1 and 2. So this really made Gengar weaker than he is. In every competitive moveset, for, for Gengar that you would see in the meta when Gens 1 and 2 were, were super popular. Uh, Gengar hardly ever 
actually had a ghost, you know, move on his set. Most people, for his his strongest move, for for attacking, would usually have something like thunder or thunderbolt just to take advantage of his raw special like power. Um, so so this really made Gengar weaker than he could have been, and that was actually saying a lot because Gengar was one of the best Pokemon in, in the you know in the competitive scene in gyms one and two. And then you look down here, and these are all the typings that were classified as special. So uh, again, every water move was, was was special. Every grass move was special. Um, so you know this this kind of hurt a lot of Pokemon, uh, specifically uh, these two categories. So dark Pokemon almost never had special attacks higher than physical attacks in Gen two. I mean, just look at Sneasel or Tyranitar, you know, Umbreon, all these Pokemon would have benefited from the dark type being physical. And um, especially dragons, you know, most dragons, uh, especially for Gen 2, you know, there was only, really there was only one true dragon in Gens 1 and 2, and that was Dragonite. Um, I mean, that was Kingdra as well. It was introduced in Gen 2. But um, that's not like a, a pure dragon uh, type. It doesn't look like a dragon. So when you think of dragons for Gens 1 and 2, you think of Dragonite. Um, so that was a special type uh, move as well. And Dragonite wasn't as big as a deal because, you know, Gens 1 and 2, the move pool didn't really have much to offer the dragon type. But really, what the big deal was, was Dark and Ghost. The, those those were the two types that, that felt the, the biggest hit in power. Um, from these. Um, so now what we can do, now that we know that these are all the types that were physical and these were all the types that were special, okay, we can now go look at the source code of my ROM hack. So we're going to Pokemon Crystal 2.0, okay. Let's go to data and to moves and let's see here. I guess on data, let's go to constants. Hmm. Can't quite remember where I edited that, that code at. Let's see. There we go, the moves ASM. Okay, so here, um, and then let's open the moves ASM for the default game as well, Poker Crystal. Search moves. Okay, so this one is for the normal game, and this one is for my ROM hack. So here you can see there are seven categories, right? And here you can see that there are eight. Inside the moves um, stored folder from my game, you can see there's the move, right? The effect, which would just be like just a normal hit. Pound has no extra effect, right? Then we have its power, okay? We have its typing. And now we have whether or not it's a physical, special, or status stored in its own column, okay? If we look at the normal game, that is not here, okay? So, for example, now, like, let's say, let's say we go to, go to the move crunch, okay? The move crunch in my game is physical, okay? The move crunch in the normal game, um, there is no category for it, but we know that the dark typing, after we went to that constants file in the normal game, was special, okay? So here you can see that it's physical. You can also see that I edited the move crunch a little bit. I gave it the flinch hit um, effect because if you look in the normal game, its effect used to be special defense down hit. And I bet most people when they played that game were like, wow, you know, I have Tyranitar and he knows crunch. And every now and then the other Pokemon, um, his special defense goes down and it just seems kind of worthless, you know because most people probably didn't realize that Dark was a special type. So when they were doing a special defense lowering, it was really just making that move more strong um, because it was a special type move. But here, uh, 
instead of making it a defense lower, uh, you know, bite has a flinch hit um, odds, so I just I gave crunch a flinch hit odds just to help you get some flinch hacks um, and stuff like that. So, and, and you know, if we go to um, you know, flame wheel now, um, that's flame thrower, flame wheel. Right, you can see it's physical now. So, so some Pokemon, you know, like Arcanine maybe who have a high attack. Um, it would benefit from, from that physical special for Flame Wheel. Now let's talk about some Pokemon that originally benefit from not having the physical special split. So I can tell you right now, one Pokemon that benefit hardcore was Alakazam. Here's the reason why. Uh, Ghost-type moves were not special, so Gengar, you know, has just like an abysmal physical attack. So he was not being able to take advantage of all those stab ghost type moves very well against psychic types. Okay. So that was one way out exam and you know psychic Pokemon as a whole were benefiting from this. The other is if we go back to um Poke Crystal, right? So let's go back to the normal game. Let's go back to that constants and uh and type constants, right? Ice, fire, and electric, they're all special in the pre-physical special split, the normal game, not my ROM hack, the normal game, fire, electric, ice, every single one of those moves is special. The reason this is really, really incredible is in the normal game, Alakazam could learn fire punch, ice punch, and electric punch, okay? You could teach, or Thunder Punch, you could teach all three of those punches to Alakazam, and he would be able to use his special attack stat with those punches, okay? So Alakazam, you could know, you know, you could teach him Psychic, and then the three elemental punches, and he would be able to use his special attack on all four of those moves. So if you were just playing through the game, and didn't really compare, care about the competitive scene and the, you know, the move recover that, that is really, really crutch for most Alakazam sets, you could just teach him psych a psychic move, a fire move, a electric move, and an ice move. And he would be able to utilize his special attack for all four of those. I mean, he was able to do unbelievable amounts of coverage before that split. So he definitely benefited from that. Now, there's some other Pokemon now that have benefited from me making those punches physical. You know, Nidoking, um, for sure, um, Machamp, you know, Pokemon that have high like, physical attack. So, basically, uh, I just wanted to walk you guys through, um, you know, just, I, I thought it'd be cool for you guys to see the code of the game and how some edits were made. Um, if you're wanting to do your own ROM hack and you want to put the physical special split into your ROM hack, you, you simply just can't, you know go to my commit on GitHub and follow this this one change I made to this one file. There are actually many changes you have to make to the, the game code for this to take. You have to update the AI um, so they know how to utilize the new system. You gotta, you gotta map where you're gonna store all this information in the game. Um, but luckily for you guys, you, you don't have to be an expert at this um, to, to, to figure it out yourself. Um, there's, there's people that, that will help you um, I, I recommend you go to Ski Tendo. Uh, there'll be a link to it in this video description. And then also, if you come just to the normal Pokecrystal GitHub page, uh, there, there's a wiki. So if you go uh, to this wiki page, there's a whole bunch of tutorials there. Um, hmm, this will actually load. There's a whole lot of tutorials there. And you just click on wiki, and the first thing that pops up is just like tutorials. Okay? Um, so. Let's see if, there we go. You come to the wiki, you click on tutorials, and then most of these have been written by a person named Ranji on Skitendo, and the person who wrote this uh, is just above most people in terms of ability uh, with, with ROM hacks. He, he's the person who made the ROM hack Pokemon Polished Crystal, and it is it is unbelievable what he is he has accomplished in that game. He has natures in his game. Uh, it's, it, it, it's it's unreal. It's un, it's unreal. Crystal is definitely worth a Google search for you. It, it, it's it's worth your time to play. 
but I mean, you can just come down here, and he 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 himself wrote the tutorial, uh, Rangy, on on how to add the physical special split. So w w let's say you're you're super uncomfortable working in this type of environment. Well, you can you can come and follow Rangy's guide, and and he'll he'll talk you through uh, everything. And he refuses just to simply teach you how to do something. He always gives a thorough explanation. You know on how he did what he did. And if you take time and follow his guides and read his posts, uh, you, you learn a lot from, from, from Ranji. So he has made it to where even people who are uncomfortable or unfamiliar with working with assembly code can, can incorporate this into their game because it's, 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 you know, it's important. You, the physical special split makes Pokemon Crystal feel like a new game. It, it really does. The, the rebalancing that's added through this one ROM hack is, is unreal. So um, check that out if you guys want to. If you guys are interested in this video, um, I am in no way uh, an expert at the anywhere near the level of Rangy or even like half the community on Skitendo on how to do ROM hacks. But if you want, I can, I can make videos on how to at least get familiar with GitHub and the Poker Crystal Disassembly and kind of talk you through some simple commands on how to use with GitHub and where some common things are stored within the ROM and stuff like that. It's only if you guys are interested, but uh, I highly suggest if you guys are into ROM hacks, um, if it's something that you really like, it doesn't take a lot of effort to, to get good at this stuff and to start making your own hacks. So I, I highly recommend that you at least give it a shot. Anyways, I, uh, I just wanted to show you guys um, how the physical special split looked inside the code. Um, I hope you learned something from this video. Tried to keep it kind of concise, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.